Hey, what's going on? So, I uh, figured that I would just do a video in here today, just because, you know, do something different, I guess, kind of, or not really, but, um, so I figured I'd, I'd show you guys this one that I just finished, like, a few days ago, um, it came out pretty sick, so I'm gonna take that, and, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to demount this thing, and then roll it, and then remount it again, because it's so big, it barely fits in the golf, so, um, yeah, the stretcher bars, I think, will come up right up to the shifter, or whatever, so, that's gonna be kind of fun to do that. So I just I don't know. I like the light on that one. So here I'll move out of the way here quick. Try to scale it on there. Yeah. That looks pretty sweet. I never, I don't really use tripods, so I don't know. I have to decide to do something different. I'm just waiting for that thing to just tip over, but um. Yeah, this one came out really cool. I love just what happened with the background. I actually, you know, waited like a whole night for the background to dry just because, you know, all this was just, just painted on there so thick. Because um, there's actually another painting underneath that, I, you know, I kind of like, but it wasn't really progressing anywhere. So I figured that I'd uh, just go over the top of it and just prime it with like, some type of cool texture. I actually used, like, like well, some of these guys. There's the paint stick to create some of the the loose texture going on, so um, maybe I'll do a video on that too, so yeah, no, it's, it's pretty fun to do that, so um, I really like what happened with the background of how it, it's just so dark, and it's this nice warm lightish color, and then you got the text, and another reason I picked this um, was because I like the, the graphics going down the side of the car, with the, it looked like, like, like a paintbrush kind of just down the side, so I figured that at uh I have fun with that one. I, I don't like text a lot just because it takes a long time to model it. Um, so I'm trying to challenge myself with doing cars with a lot more text on them and like more just intricate bits on them, I guess, too. So, um, yeah. That's the fun part about projecting this stuff, though, too, is like you can get it, you can get it pretty spot on. Um, I mean, without it, that would probably take twice as long, but I just have so many of these to do where that comes in really handy so that helps me kind of get them done a bit quicker so um and you can just do so much more fun stuff i think than i mean for me anyway like you can just like there's you can see through like you can just like cover this whole thing right and then cut back over it back and forth and i don't know i have a bad blast with it so yeah but um I just thought I'd throw up a quick video here. I was just checking the time on the camera to see what it was at, so. Um, yeah, this one's really cool, and I also have this small one down here that I was gonna, sh I was gonna show up, but now I'm like, should I show it, should I not show it? I think I might show it, it looks kinda cool. It's just in a cheap frame. I got the frame off of, uh, sorry for the chair again, it's so loud, but. So this one I got a frame off of eBay for like, what was it, like five bucks. Came out pretty sweet, so. This is just a quick sketch that I did. So, yeah, it's about yay big. So, this is on eBay. I don't know if it's, this, it's still on there, but this is still for sale. So, it looks pretty. Here's the back of it. Got a little hanger. So, yeah. Yeah, if you guys want to buy this, I'll just swing over to the UPS store and ship it out to you. So, yeah. I should have done a little wash with the background on that one, but I don't know. I thought it looked kind of cool without it. That's just not a newsprint. So this is right here. I'll show you the, uh, make a mess. Something's going to fall. Just know it. All my other stuff that I have. So this is the newsprint that I use. It's, um, this is a Blick newsprint. It's pretty nice. This is the bigger version though. This is, cause I like working big. So this is the, uh, 12 by 18 and of course there's paint all over it. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. So this one's really cool. I'll throw up uh, maybe a couple pictures of it, just you know, to show how much nicer it looks. I'll maybe just do that right now. Um, yeah. So it's weird because I'm like looking at myself, but there's a photo over the the camera. But um, 
Yeah, I don't know. I just thought that'd be kind of cool so you guys can kind of see how clear this thing is. Um, instead of like, you know, it's behind, sitting behind me so you can kind of get the size, the gist of the size of it. Um, yeah, I don't know. As I said before, I just like the the tear down the side of the car and like how the, the text was laid out. Like it's all, it's all very bold, it's loud, it's, it's so much fun to look at. So, um, I have a few other ideas of like, Cars are gonna do like this. Maybe some famous YouTubers cars that maybe about the size or maybe a little smaller. I don't know. They seem to like from what I've seen. It looks like they have the, the place to store these. So um, this is like I think it's 72 by five and a half. So which is pretty big, but it's, it's still kind of quick to do. If I get another one, then it's just like all right, well. So, but um, yeah. I just thought I'd throw up a picture of it, um, just so you guys could see the painting a bit easier than you know, having it behind me, but yeah, there's, it's cool because like there's some parts that are so thick on this, like some of the paint is just so like, just really caked on there, so yeah, no, I had fun with this one though, the little splash of white, the uh, one of those paint mis mixer sticks to, to the left side of this windshield here, and it's kind of. Yeah. Under 10 minutes still. Camera composition isn't the best. But. Yo, so. That one's gonna be sweet. So. Figure I'll end it here and then uh, do a second video on like the priming part of it and like kind of like maybe the develop of, development of the whole thing being built or something. So yeah, I don't know. I don't do many videos on this stuff. I don't know. It just kind of wears me out. So um, maybe I'll do that next. I guess Cause I have to. I was gonna prime this to kind of match the car. I was gonna project the car onto it and then kind of make the color blend really nicely along with the car. Cause he wants like a textured background with the car, so that's kind of probably what I'm going to do next here, so. Alright. That's about it. And then, uh, maybe I'll post that tomorrow or something, we'll see what I do with that, so. Um, or maybe I'll just post the finished painting. Um, maybe, maybe I'll show a little bit of the process, too. I just love, like, not filming and, like, just rocking out and painting, so. Um, yeah, so. Alright, yeah, I don't want to make this too long either because it's already past 10 minutes, so, and I, I could talk forever, so I just almost thought about starting a podcast, but I don't have that many subscribers yet, so, um, yeah, so yeah, that's me a pretty sweet Honda Civic on there, this, I think he's local too, so that's going to be nice not having to ship that, so, yeah, the music cut out, yep, changed, so, alright, that's about it. Peace. You can subscribe if you want. Alright. More stuff to come. More cool stuff to come. Alright. See ya.